Hi, how are you going? It's Josh here from New Wave Digital Marketers. I've got uh, two guest speakers here. We've got Cros from Oz and Wayne Mansfield. And we're here just to talk about Twitter and how you can use it for business. And uh, Cros has just gone over 5,000 followers. Wayne here is just over 57,000 followers. <laughs> hurry up, mate. Hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> so we're just going to have a, a general chat about um, yeah, how, how to get more followers on Twitter and the reason for doing it and what is Twitter, how can you use it. Um, so, Wayne, you were just telling us a little bit about the, some of the new rules. You, you, uh, you... Okay. What, what I was saying is that uh, Twitter have a number of rules and they weren't enforcing them. And as with everything, if you can find out to get on the right side of these things. So, basically, the rule is you can follow a 1,000 people a day. And Twitter, the power of it is who follows you back. So, um, it took me... 30 days to get 2,000, 90 to get 10,000, and then I worked out that they weren't enforcing the rules. So from 10,000 to 50,000 was about 10 days. You should be able to add 1 to 200 a day, so in a 90-day program, which we show people how to do, you're up to about 20,000 people. How do you um, monetize your followers on Twitter? Well, perhaps the first thing is who would you follow? And my understanding, I, I was sort of stuck, and I found this young guy in New Zealand, a young Chinese Kiwi. <laughs> Funny mix, but yeah. he even speaks with a Kiwi accent. I don't meet him in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> but this young guy said to me, it's, it's amazing because if you find uh, your competitor and they happen to be on Twitter, they expose their good customers. You say you had a cookbook, who would you sell a cookbook to? Well, find some famous cook on um, Twitter and follow their followers. So if you followed uh, a couple of hundred a day, in a hundred days you'd have 20,000 people who you could reasonably assume were interested in cooking. Now, I spoke to you the other day and you are saying that you, 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 to get to 50,000 you don't worry who you follow. But I've adopted a different attitude whereby I've... I, I click on and I check that that person is simpatico to a certain extent with what I'm doing. And so that's, I feel, building slower. But I possibly, in ignorance, feel that's a better following than having a huge following that's not actually relevant to what I'm doing. I think that there's a basic difference to what you, you have done and what I've done. Is the generally accepted way to do it is a passive existence on the net. Yeah. It sounds like you're you know, eight till six <laughs> following people, having conversations with people, organising tweet deck. Ah, and yeah, then... it seems like that, doesn't it? <laughs> what we're talking about is using Twitter to generate traffic and yep. you know, obviously you've got close to 60,000 because you've got close, well, just over 5,000 yeah. mm. and your strategy with Twitter is obviously to engage with you know, new people and broaden your, your market and your audience and yeah. you're always writing content for your website and your blog and your Facebook group. Yeah. Um, if you want to just share with people how you use it to generate traffic. And Every article I do from Worry Free Island on a daily basis, I then put it on my website and I copy it and a link to my website and I put it on to Twitter. But I trim the uh, URL. Um, the trim, the trim is a, 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 a URL shortening thing that actually gives you the results of how many people have been there. I, I, I suppose I drive about four or five hundred people a day to my uh, website via Twitter, which is fantastic because before that, I think it was four or five. We use Bitly, yeah, which again has all the stats. And on um, the one I talked to you about, Lotto, it drives between five hundred and two thousand people a day to where we want them to go. Mm. Now, my experience on the internet is to get that sort of traffic you have to do a heck of a lot of work. Yeah. And on mine, which is running the, you know, the 57,000, um, it is not unusual in 10 minutes to drive 500 to 1,000 people to wherever you wanted to go, mm. as long as the content of the tweet yeah. is contextual. I was talking to um, Jonathan Gunson today. Uh, he's the guy that's got Traffic TV. Have you seen that? No. Um, he, he started off doing a daily um, thing, giving a, a traffic tactic thing, and he's now uh, evolved into a thing where 
he's just doing, I think, once a week he tries to get a celebrity. I think Loic was the last one he spoke to, and he's spoken to um, Felicity Slattery and a few other people, just as normal interviews. But I was talking to him today, and uh, he was going on about the, the fact of people, how they change when they get an amount of numbers on Twitter. It seems to people, just normal people, seem to get this huge ego because they've got a lot of people. And yet, a guy that's just started could be the most intelligent, friendly, nice person you've ever met. But he's got 94 people following him, and you tend to go there and oh, do I really need this, you know? Last Friday, um, I was the third uh, most follow Friday person. And then this thing that Tries was talking about kicked in. I haven't quite worked out Facebook yet. Yeah. I will. I'll, that's sort of the next step. Then you have a chat with Mary Smith. Okay, I will. You'll have <laughs> do you know, to introduce. Do you know, I don't know. No, well, she's, she is the absolute gun on it. I'd love, she to, makes love her to talk. Yeah, I'd love to talk then. So that's at Mary Smith. That would be <laughs> uh, uh, that one up the back there. We... More than ninety percent of the people on Twitter have less than. 20 followers. Yeah. So more than 90% mm. have less than 20 followers, not 20,000, yeah. 20. There's been um, an article that kind of went through in the last week about Twitter users not lasting much longer than a month because yep. there's a lot of people that come in and after a month of trying to get on the bandwagon and join the buzz, go, I don't get it, I don't have more than 20 followers and they yeah. kind of give up and they're looking at yeah. the, but did, these did, ego did, people. Did, yeah, <laughs> did you ever do blogging? Yes. Okay. Do you still do blogging? Yes. How many people do you know who did blogging who don't do it anymore? Hundreds. Yeah. The figure is less than 30 days for blogging. Yeah. Average person goes and starts a blog yeah. and lasts less than 30 days. Yeah. Time magazine, uh, one of the hundred most influential things to happen in the last uh, 10 years is Twitter. Yeah. Um, and what's that uh, Demi Moore's husband's name? Absolutely. A plus K. <laughs> I just can't say that, but A plus K. <laughs> yeah. A plus K. He's written the um, article that goes into uh, time, and it's okay. a two-page spread, yeah. and why it worked. Okay, so just uh, yeah, this is Cross from Oz, at Cross from Oz, at New Wave Marketer, and at Wayne Mansfield. Um, obviously, you can contact us directly through Twitter if you have any other questions, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos. Thanks, mate. Thanks for inviting me. No worries. Cheers. Cheers.